This week I want to share with you three times you should avoid using autofocus like it's the plague. Hi, Larry Kay, ShadowAnyone.com, and the creator of the Investigator's Ultimate Guide series, premium private investigator training from someone who's been there and done that. Now, uh, autofocus when you're doing surveillance uh, can be a very handy thing, but there are a lot of times you don't want to use it. So uh, one time is if you're shooting through windows. Now, first of all, take a step back if you're shooting video through windows because you probably shouldn't be. One possible exception uh, that, that you might consider would be maybe a, a storefront window, someplace, you know, that's maybe at a gas station, that it's a very public place, both, both in and out, that people outside can see in just as easily as, as uh, anybody. Uh, maybe then uh, you could be shooting through a window and it's not going to have that creepy skeevy feeling especially if this is the type of thing that's used as evidence or goes to trial goes to court or is used in a lawsuit so you don't want it to come off uh, skeevy like that uh, however you're going to most of the time be shooting through your own vehicle window when you're doing surveillance think about it if you're back and if you're in the back of your van you're shooting out through a window uh, you know, sometimes you're going to use autofocus there, sometimes you're not, but be careful if, uh, if it's raining or you're getting uh, any kind of condensation on the outside of the window. That will throw off your autofocus horrendously and destroy your video. Don't just set it up and think you can leave it like that. If it starts to rain or even just sprinkle, that autofocus can come in and you can have beautiful footage of raindrops on your window and nothing else. So avoid uh, shooting, uh, avoid using autofocus when you're shooting through windows. Number two time to avoid autofocus like it's the plague, shooting through chain link fences. This is definitely a manual focus time. If you don't, uh, there's a very good chance that camera is going to focus in on the chain link fence. You're not going to get anything on the other side of it. So avoid it there as well. And the number three reason uh, or time and I would really make this the number one time to avoid using autofocus because this happens all the time uh, every day it happens but is low light conditions when you're uh, shooting in low light that autofocus is just going to go out the window for you it's not going to be helpful it's just not going to grab onto the subject or whatever it is you're you're uh, recording so avoid the autofocus in low light conditions and just start out, switch to that manual setting right from the beginning when you're doing surveillance in a low light circumstance. This is Larry Kay with ShadowAnyone.com. Remember, do the right thing, even if it's the hard thing.